So I don't like do videos in this like talking picture format ever. And it's simply because it's just, it's not my format. It's technically Sean C's format, but I kind of like it. And I don't actually feel like uh, making myself look presentable for a YouTube video. So I was just like, you know what? I, I really want to talk about this. So I decided, you know, I'm going to take my phone out. And I think it'll be a little bit more of a raw, better format than videos. So I, I, I prefer this. Not in general to like over videos, but like I want to do this for this video right now and maybe future rants. So y'all tell me if this is like a good format uh, in the comments below. So to like talk on what's happened over the past couple of days, Kanye a couple of days ago decided to call out Billie Eilish over something she didn't like really say. And I mean, she did, She it's obvious what she said was in the calling out of trans, uh, Travis, uh, but it, it really wasn't much of a diss. It was more of just a sly, I actually helped my fans during my performances. And I didn't really think much of it. And I don't think she meant much of it. But then Kanye acts like this insult is, is directed towards him and that this is, that this is, all like like that he actually like should be mad over this and then he's like i'm not performing at coachella until you decide to apologize to the to travis and it, it comes off really childish especially when none of this is actually has to involve you at all there's actually no real drama that's being started here you just decided to make a drama in the most like petty childish way like asking for a fucking apology to a 20 year old woman who literally did not say anything towards you. Billy owes literally no apology towards you or anyone considering the fact that what she said, she doesn't need to apologize for at all because currently right now you're acting like Travis had nothing to do with Astro World, which if anyone really does look into it, no, no, he, he had stuff to do with it. He absolutely could have uh, stopped the show, or not fully stopped the show, but he definitely had stuff to involve with it, and he had horrible planning involved. But sure, criticizing Travis absolutely deserves an apology instantly for how disrespectful Billie Eilish was. And especially in the fact that, like, asking for an apology, are you, are you serious? And, and to make, like, this whole thing with us having a hard time taking Kanye seriously, um, you, you said you weren't going to perform at Coachella because of what Billie Eilish said? Why? This doesn't have to involve Coachella. I get you're performing alongside her technically over a multi-day span, but what you could do, and here's a better idea, is not involve Coachella, because I don't think Billy has any reason to apologize now that you're not performing at Coachella. It just means that she's more of a headliner and she's going to get more attention now at Coachella. So you're not going to perform to your fans and you're not going to give us a great performance Simply because Billy said something sly and uh, indirect about Travis. Do you understand how much of a high schooler you're acting like right now? So if that whole thing wasn't, you know, annoying enough and wasn't childish enough from Kanye, he decided to make things worse today by literally posting that Cuddy would not be on the album because you know who is friends with Cuddy. We all speak in Billy language now. Do you understand how much of a high schooler you're sounding like right now? You are 44 years old. You have an entire family. You're going through a divorce right now. And you're you're talking like you're in high school, writing this fucking message and posting it to your Instagram, acting like there's a massive issue with Cuddy being friends with someone that you're not friends with. It's not even like you have a really great reason to hate uh, Pete. You just hate him for dating your ex-wife. And to add to how annoying it is that you're... you're undeserved just to hate for Pete is that it's not, I get why you're mad at him, but you don't got to involve Cuddy into this situation. Someone who pretty much his whole career has appeared pretty unproblematic. And I guess uh, Kanye and him have had a few falling outs over the years, but this got to be the most ridiculous one, especially in the fact that there's no problem with someone being friends with the person that is now dating your ex-wife, especially considering the fact that Pete Davidson has a lot of friends in the industry and he actually seems like a pretty relaxed, likable person. I understand the anger of Kanye to Pete. It makes sense. I probably would hate someone dating my ex-wife too, but we can't pretend like Cuddy also should be mad at Pete for the same thing. There's actually no reason to make this a... Uh, you have to choose a side, Cuddy, because truly, if you're going to make him choose a side, he's going to choose Pete Davidson's side, and you just lost Cuddy over a divorce that he's not really involved in? 
Also, now we're talking about Pete Davidson like he's Voldemort, like this whole fucking he who must not be named you know who situation and and even worse to that you literally put below we all speak in billy language now what the fuck i already said this but you are literally an adult man like you literally have a whole family and you're you're talking like this on your instagram and twitter this is kind of ridiculous concerning the fact that the people who are pretty pissed off at you right now are also your fans. Typically, one of my issues with Kanye fans is despite Kanye being a complete, like, idiot, sometimes his fans are pretty defensive of him, but I've not seen a ton of defense to Kanye after what he said to Cuddy. It seems like just pure hate, concerning the fact that Cuddy kind of did, you know, nothing wrong. This is part of the reason I've been so nervous for Donda 2 for the past few weeks and since it got announced is because Kanye is in such a drama, you know, like angered kind of place right now to the point where I worry that this is going to just completely fall apart into an album that just feels really bitter and angry towards all of these people that he feels are wronging him. And that's the thing with Donda. Donda was not followed with, like, was not preceded with any drama. It was actually preceded a Cud or Kanye being quiet for, like, a full year. And then that album came out, and it really had no drama on it. And that was what I actually kind of liked about it. There was nothing very polarizing about that album. But he's been in so much drama lately. It's, it's pretty annoying, and it's pretty hard to want to be excited for an album when this is what he's currently doing on his social medias. And to add it to make it like, like to make my excitement better, I know there, we did have City of Gods, which I really liked. And we also had uh, Coke, uh, Diet Coke with Pusha T, which I thought was great too. But, but just because you have those two things does not inherently mean I'm excited for the album. I just really hope he does something about this because it's, it's getting out of hands. He's current calling, he's calling out people and breaking off relationships that don't need to be broken off. And it, it's just getting out of hand. But that's just my opinion. Uh, let me know what you think about uh, this kind of video format or this entire situation. Just let me know in the comment section below. Uh, see you guys next time. Uh, bye.